What's good, you guys? You know who this is. This is Poetical Soul. I am in, I am three weeks post-op as far as throat surgery. I know, I'm, I'm sure you're like, post-op for, for uh, uh, top surgery or something, Tiff? Or what the fuck? No. <laughs> no. Three weeks post-op as far as throat surgery. Um, a laryngoscopy that I had done on March 5th. And the reason why I had that done was because, y'all, I had a cis and a uh, uh, saccular lump in my throat pressing up on my vocal cords for six whole fucking months, you guys. Possibly longer than that, and I didn't even know it, right? So, I had that. Yeah, it, it was pretty major. And um, what was removed and tested and the results of that was that uh, the, the lumps, well, the lump and the cysts and all that is called amyloids. I had amyloids, y'all. Google that shit. I mean, well, yeah, if you do Google it, <clears throat> if you do Google that shit, you're, man, you're going to be in for a motherfucking ride of research. <laughs> Basically, an amyloid, just to help you guys out, an amyloid is a benign cyst, and and uh, amyloid, um, there's a longer word for that, but I'm just going to shorten it to amyloid, but amyloids can grow anywhere in your body, and it's produced by your bone marrow, and for some reason, your bone, your, your bone, ooh, words, I haven't done that in a while, your bone marrow, ooh, I can't even say the word bone marrow, basically, this thing is like, hey, I'm just gonna overproduce just these amyloids, these tumors, in anywhere in the tissue of your body, which could be in your brain, your chest, what, well, your lungs, um, anywhere, anywhere in your body, your heart, that's the scariest part, which can be fatal, uh, amyloids can grow anywhere in your body, and you wouldn't even know it, in fact, my own aunt told me at one point that, um, just a few days ago, that she, uh, saw, no, she was listening to NPR, and they mentioned, and this, this is a trip, she didn't even expect that she was going to listen to this, this particular report about how Alzheimer's, I probably did not pronounce that correctly, but Alzheimer's, um, the culprit of, of Alzheimer's is amyloids, and I'm like, what? No fucking way! So, um, yeah, uh, and of course, amyloids can grow near your fucking vocal cords in your throat your larynx y'all so that was what why my voice was so hoarse for the last few months and uh yeah after surgery i couldn't talk i had to baby my voice for the next two weeks but um we're on almost three weeks post-op by tomorrow it will be three weeks and uh, how do I feel? How does my throat feel? My throat feels fine. And <laughs> I I do feel like my voice might have changed a little bit. I don't know. But after I record this and re-listen to this shit, I'm going to know for sure. Um, I honestly, I honestly, I don't want to do a voice comparison between how I used to sound before the amyloid started growing in my throat. And, um, and then how I sound now, because I'm, it might trigger me, and the reason why I say that it might trigger me, because then I'm, I will be like, damn, I wish my voice was back to the way it was, da da da, whatever, whatever, but, I don't know, I mean, I don't want to say it's a trigger, I just, I, I, you know, how should I say this, 
what I do know is that my voice is still in recovery and I shouldn't be I shouldn't even be recording this but I'm doing this as a test to see how I sound cuz I don't know if I sound the same I mean <clears throat> they say doctors say that um or well the paperwork I have uh stated that I will sound hoarse for I could possibly sound hoarse let me get that right for the next one to eight weeks y'all eight weeks by eight weeks would be my birthday month so <laughs> I'm like motherfuckers I don't have one to eight weeks so or just eight weeks I don't have until May I want my voice fully back 100% right away so again I don't even know if I sound the same like I did uh, over six months ago before my voice started to really sound hoarse <clears throat> or what but I will say this I want my voice back and I will have my voice back and uh, so I can get back to doing spoken word so I won't have to sound like I'm sick as a dog because I sound like I just woke up honestly I sound like I just woke up and maybe I need voice training so that way I can project my voice in a way of not sounding like I'm a you know I'm waking up I don't know I, I really don't know I'm, I'm gonna have to look into that call Kaiser and see what they can do and uh, just go from there because you know when you talk with a hoarse voice for six months your brain is telling you talk in that voice to save your voice and then now that I don't have that fucker in my throat, now I feel like I got to tell my brain, Tiff, retrain how you talk, project your voice, so that way you won't sound like you just woke up. <laughs> I don't know, man. But, um, yeah, this is just a test. It is almost three weeks post-op uh, from... Uh, laryngoscopy surgery that was a tripped out experience let me just tell you with that one that my first time having major surgery my god <laughs> I mean the staff was cool they did what they supposed to do they did their fucking job um, I thank them and uh, yeah and I'm alive <laughs> I'm alive you guys so Excuse me. All this to say, I I did. You know what? There's another thing I was doing that I wasn't supposed to do. I was singing, y'all. <laughs> oh, I feel like I got my singing voice back, but I feel like I need a little bit of training for myself. You know, train myself to sing again. And uh, you think I can try to do it on the spot? Let me see. <clears throat> trying to think of a song <laughs> you guys oh my gosh I feel so rusty doing this shit with YouTube and whatever man um ah got it okay oh god and then I forget the lyrics it's like damn cuz I noticed that I would sing <laughs> every morning well yeah every morning when I know I shouldn't um ah all right, y'all. All right, I got it. Bear with me. About my love for you, how it runs so deep and true, and yet it's so, ah, uh, cause don't you know, ooh, Still waters run deep. Oh, God damn. Rusty. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's what I've been singing almost every morning or every morning. Um, there was a, a few days ago I wasn't supposed to sing. And I felt it in my throat. Um, my throat was like, bitch, stop it. And I'm like, okay, I'm sorry, because it was getting sore. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you guys, I'm okay, I'm alright, yes, we are in the middle of, well, not in the middle, we're at the tail end of Mercury Retrograde, thank you, Jesus, thank you, 
Daimoku Nam Yo Horenge Kyo. Oh my gosh, thank you, ancestors, for getting me through this. These last three weeks, um, Mercury ends on the 28th, so. Oh my gosh, what is today's date? The 25th of March, 2019. Oh my gosh, this is my first video, you guys. My first audio for 2019. I just realized that shit. Oh man. Well, I hope that you guys listen to the entire thing of me just talking like I'm on a fucking podcast. Which reminds me, I'm thinking about starting one. I mean, I don't know. It... it I, it has popped in my head. It has been, you know, running through my brain. I miss people telling me, Tiff, you got that radio voice. Da, 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 da. I don't even know if I... Okay. Someone's hit me up. It's about time to go. Let me just say this real quick. I don't know if I still have that radio voice. But after listening to this recording, I will know for sure. We are in 11 minutes. So, I gotta get going. And, uh... I love you guys. Hopefully another video audio will come soon. Um, I am thinking about starting a podcast, maybe, as I was saying. And honestly, it will be called, <laughs> I used to do a segment years back called Poetic Eye Candy. And I think the name Poetic Eye Candy for a podcast would be fucking dope and perfect. That title has not been used anywhere on the interwebs. Except me and me only. So I'm gonna continue, not continue, I'm gonna reclaim that shit before somebody else does in the world. The only, I'm the only one, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking about it. It's, you know, in the works mentally. So on that note, I love you guys. We are in 12 minutes. I love you guys. I miss you guys so much. I hope and I hope somebody's listening out there. I hope that I sound all right. Let me know your thoughts. Do I mean, honestly, I'm a little nervous about y'all's opinions, but <sighs> kind words, please. <laughs> on that note, I love y'all. Mwah. Poetic old soul signing out. And uh yeah. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, I I don't know if I will be back even more. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I love y'all. Peace.